Sci-Tai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this 9 volt robot bug with using these parts. And the items you'll need is a 9 volt battery, a vibrating DC motor, a 9 volt battery connector, a pair of red LEDs, two slide switches, a piece of a perf board, LED caps to diffuse the LEDs, a 560 ohm resistor, thick gauge copper wire, that way it can be used for the legs, and some regular wire to connect everything into the circuit. I'm going to start with soldering the slide switch onto the perf board. I'm going to take these two pieces of thick gauge copper wire and I'm going to remove the insulation like this. This is partly personal preference, but I want to do it to keep things more insulated and this will be for the eyes of the robot to connect the LEDs to. Bend one wire and put it through the hole just like this. And then what I want to do is I want to bend the wire just like this. And then solder it into place. Doing this will hold them into place better and it'll allow me to connect the LEDs to them. I'm going to take this wire here and connect the two together because it, those two are going to be the cathodes of the LEDs. There we go, now the cathodes are connected. Now I'm going to take my LEDs, cut them to size, and I want to solder the cathodes first to those main wires. Now solder in the anodes with another wire. Put on those caps to diffuse the LED light. Wrap the wires around and put glue to hold it into place. Put some hot glue to insulate the LEDs and to diffuse the LED light a little bit more. Next I'm going to take my 560 ohm resistor, place it on the perf board just like this. Solder it into place. should look just like this. Cut off the leads. Right now I've disconnected that cathode wire temporarily because I want to take those two anode wires, put them into the perf board, and solder them into place. Just like this and then solder them into place. Now I've got both those anode wires soldered into place and now I want to solder one connection of the switch to both of those anode wires. Just like that. Both anodes are connected to the switch. I'm going to pre-tin this wire here so that way I can connect it to the other part of the switch, to the resistor. Just like this. Now I'll resolder this negative wire to reconnect the two cathodes of the LEDs. And it shall look just like this. Connect a positive wire to the resistor, bridge it together. Take a negative wire, connect it to the anodes of the LEDs. Now I have my second switch ready. I'm going to take some super glue, put a small dab of super glue on that one switch, 
and then take the second switch and put it directly on top and glue it together. Now I should be able to flip both the switches at the same time, one controlling the motor and one controlling the LED. Put a bunch of hot glue to keep everything insulated and keeps everything insecure. Place this cardboard for extra insulation and to be able to put more hot glue to be able to connect to the motor. I'm going to go put a dab of hot glue onto the DC motor. Now I'm going to take two wires and connect them to the connecting of the switch. Put shrink wrap tube to keep things insulated. And it should look just like this. Shrink the tubes. Connect one wire to the motor, to the switch. Connect a negative wire to the other part of the connection of the motor. And now get a 9 volt battery connector. Tin the connections with solder. And now I'm going to take those two positive wires, connect them together. Take those two negative wires, connect them together. And those two connections are pre-tinned and I'm going to go and solder them to the battery connector. Where that part's negative and that part's positive. Flip it over, solder it into place. And it should look just like this. Now put a very generous amount of hot glue on the end of the motor and press the battery connector just like this and add more hot glue to keep the shape and hold it into place even better and it should look just like this. Now for our decorative piece I have this thick copper wire and I want to use that as the mouth part of the robot. Remove the insulation just like this. Bend the wire. Put a generous amount of hot glue around the switches to keep it extra secured and to connect the wire into place. Now it's time to give this bug some legs. Now this is personal preference. You can remove all of the insulation, but what I chose is remove a little bit of the insulation just to make the legs look nice. If you want, you can remove all the insulation or do exactly like this. This part is personal preference. So now I place the wire in the middle so that way I can get the idea of the size. So I can bend the wire to fit the size, and it should look just like that. I'm going to place some hot glue in the line just like this. And now put a larger amount of glue just like that. This way I can guarantee it'll stay in place. It should look just like this. Now I'm going to go and bend the legs, so make sure everything's all even and flat, so that way this jitterbug can jitter properly. And it should look just like this. And now it's time to connect the battery. And now, the circuit 
is complete. You have now a 9 volt battery jitterbug. Let's turn on the switch and test it out. And there, success, it works. Now let's have a look at this robot bug in a different angle. Flip on the two switches, and there, the robot bug is now animated. Now let's have a close up on this robot bug. And as you can see, these two switches have special purposes. One switch controls the motor, and the other switch controls the LEDs. You can flip them both on, and everything works at the same time. Or, if you want, you can just flip just one switch and have just the LEDs, and no movement. And then you can switch it off. And if you want, you can switch on just the motor and it will move around without the LEDs on. Flip them both on and then it'll move around with the LEDs. And there you have it. Now you know how to make a nine volt robot bug with using a few simple parts. I really enjoyed making this project. It was really interesting and really fun to make. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.